Welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean Blind. It's so strange to not have to press anything on the keyboard to get it to record and not seeing a little frame thing in the corner is very off-putting. I'm just so used to seeing it. Ugh. Whoa. Ready, you two. His voice sounds okay. Funnily enough, his voice almost sounds like the one I did. Well, I mean, to me, anyway. I haven't listened to it yet. Except I, I made him sound more British, but... Still, it's kind of fun. Oh, wait, I want to see that. Oh, I see. Is he actually saying whack? Whack! Whack! Why? Just why? Using onomatopoeic words like that just doesn't work in English. It's like going, pow! It's just, please don't. Just, just don't. So I have been okay. So I have been everywhere. It just doesn't feel like I have, but apparently I have. So, alrighty then. Ready, you two. Heads up. Ready, you two. Finally, somebody with a good voice actor. I mean, uh. Huh. Oh wait, what? Oh, he's a heraldry guy. Oh, so he will eventually be able to do magic then. Ah. So maybe I should concentrate. Oh no! Oh no! Wait. No, maybe he can't do heraldry. Like, like he can only do three things. Maybe. Because if I if I go to Eric. Yeah. Okay. He can't even use items. Or is it just because he's in the middle of something? Aha! Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's good to know. Don't do Leaf Slash! Just, why would you do that? At least I've figured out now how to... <laughs> how to change people easily. <laughs> oh dear. He really is saying whack. Okay. You're too easy. The, the, the voice acting in this is so unnecessary. Like, it's only in the battles uh, that I'm aware of. It's, it's a bit... It's a bit silly. I'm going the wrong way. Damn it! Damn it! Here's the enemy. Things will work out. I think. Things will work out. Shooting uh, I think. Oh. It sure will. Apparently, everything about that guy is is, is like. <laughs> what was that? Like really slow motion. <laughs> it looked like he was he was sneaking up on Eric or something. Um, everything about him is like twin related because they're the, the twin dragons and, and stuff. It's amusing. Then he had the twin swords as well. I'm amused. So have I been everywhere? I don't think I've been up here yet, have I? Have I? I don't know. Here's the enemy. No wait, didn't I come out. down there Thing. earlier? Oh. I think I did. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> so silly. <laughs> you silly voice acting. You're so silly. Whoa, 547. I did it! I did it! Oh, Northern Cross. Oh, Starlight. Oh, so many things. So many things. Let's see. A technique in which a huge ice figure is created to attack the enemy. A huge ice figure. But does it just like sculpt something and just sits there sculpting? Like, just give me, you know, two hours and then I can attack this thing. That's a bit ridiculous. Um. <laughs> I might do that instead of the leaf slash. Oh. No, maybe not. Wait, what? Because then if we come across a boss, then I can use this and stuff. Yep. That scout thing would actually be very useful, like, if we were dying or whatever and we didn't want anyone to attack us. Oh, wait, I didn't look at the other thing. Also, what was that? So many things! Oh, I thought it would be a... Oh, it's a chest thing. I don't know why I thought it was a, a helmet thing. Armor made of layers of steel and leather. 
It raises... Oh no, could, that must be armor. AC, surely. I don't know what AC would stand for. So... Oh, he already has one on. I see. I see. The women have to wear robes. Which is... Okay, I want a robe. <coughs> They're magical, that makes sense with their class. Um, What am I doing? I am doing... Oh, sk uh, no, not skills, specialty of mating. Uh, Starlight. A spell that attacks all enemies on the screen with bright light falling from above. Excellent. Sounds good to me. I guess it's a step up from Ray. The enemy. Better be careful. The enemy. Yeah, you better be careful. Ha! Energy arrow. Energy arrow. What? Did he just... Oh, he said Northern Cross, right? I thought he said Strawberry Cross. What? What was that? Boy, I let him finish. Poor Andy. <laughs> strawberry Cross. That's what it sounded like he said. But I guess I'm wrong. How sad. That would be awesome, though. Strawberry Cross. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done. Be careful. Oh, oh, I want to. Oh, okay. I want to see what Northern Cross looks like. Does it look like Northern Lights? Oi! Stop doing things, everyone. Hey, Noct has like all the MP at the moment. <laughs> it really does sit there making one. I don't need it. It sounds so much like he says Strawberry Cross or Strawberry Crush or something. Strawberry Crush! Maybe he does. Maybe the voice actor is like, nobody's ever gonna listen to what I'm actually saying. Let's just do this. That would be fun. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Ready, you two? I have no choice. Ready, you two? Shooting Starlight! Go, go. Yeah, died. Okay, so now we can continue with the storyline. Now that we have a new person, yay! How exciting that we have a new person. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Are you ready? Ready, Rurun? <laughs> it sounded like he said, Ready, Roo Roo? Like he was trying to be a dog. Ready, Roo Roo? What? Sick him? Oh, that must be somebody's thing. I see. I thought it was like telling me to do something. Oh, apparently Eric died. Where did Eric die? Whoops. Oh, she learned cure all. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, Noct, could you do your job, please, and heal, heal Eric? Because he, he needs it. It would be nice. I really need to get some things. I how much money I have. Ah, uh, no, not here yet. I'll wait till I've edited that part. Does <laughs> Eric lying on the floor? You silly. You silly. Okay, let's leave. I need to get some resurrection things from a from a store if they happen to exist. At least you want to give me one. Don't get the way the other fighting men already here. Oh, no, but we. Oh, okay. Say the same thing then. Do you have something for me? Welcome, Master Allen is upstairs. Oh, is he? Oh, Allen. Oh. You shouldn't be going into someone else's house without permission. Oh, shut up, servant. <laughs> How dare you talk to me in this way? Hello there, how is the investigation going? I can't remember his voice at all. Is that all? You have nothing more exciting to tell me? Fine then. <laughs> Fine then. Let's find a store. Or a shop. Uh, that's a pub. Maybe this way? I can't remember where things are. 
nope. Uh, nope. Not unless the gem sells me something useful. In? Actually, yes. But that's not what I meant to do. I mean, we'll do this as well, but I also want the potion thing. They seem to be very rare in this game somehow. I don't know. Or not very rare, but like, you know, I mean, like in Final Fantasy 7 and stuff, you, you win them from battles, you win Phoenix down, so it's strange to not really get that kind of item from here. I mean, you get berries, but, you know. Uh, oh, you are an item thing. Welcome! Can I offer you one of the high quality stones obtained in the South Mine? I think it would make an excellent present for your sweetheart. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Oh, you don't even have what I want. Oh. Uh, well then. Aren't you unhelpful? Go away. <laughs> I mean, uh. Thanks for your time. Where where can I find a resurrection thing? I don't think it's in the first town either. Maybe I have to go to Cross. Oh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it's it's talking time. So how do we figure out how to exercise the dragon? Oh, is it moving in? Hmm, I don't understand either. What is it? I give up. What? Um. What are they saying? <laughs> how does... How does he know? <laughs> they say, of course you couldn't understand. <laughs> they make me sick. Is it really them talking or is it just him? <laughs> they make me sick. Oh, Eric, so short-tempered. But aren't they sort of cute? Yeah, I think so too. Hmm, do you think so? The Andy in the musical, who I named this guy after, is like, not really like this guy at all. <laughs> whatever. And neither is Eric like Claude, for that matter. But whatever, they have the same hair color as their things. Shush. They're both men, right? Right. <laughs> I think they are. This one is cute with his popping out eyes. <laughs> what? This one is cute with his weepy eyes. Oh, okay. Knocked. Uh, I don't think that... Uh, knocked. I don't think that is quite the problem. Can I give them names? Yes. You mean these guys? Obviously I'm talking about the dragons, you weird thing. Well, they are fellow travelers. Well, that's true, but... Let's see... I know! The one with the weepy eyes I'll name Ururun. And the one with popping out eyes will be Gyoro. <laughs> Alright. That's awfully simple. Did you say something? <laughs> I love how I do not love how she does that. No, nothing. Ururun. Bioro. So what should I do? Does anyone know what to do? Perhaps it might be best to look into some books. <laughs> Why the question mark do not know what books are? Eric? Books? Yes. If we go to somewhere with lots of books, we might find some sort of hint. I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. For example, where? Weren't there a lot of books at the House of the Elder of Mars? Maybe. We might find out something there. Maiden had nothing to say, apparently. Okay. 
right. That was a thing. I wanted to go there anyway because I think they may have things for me to buy. Let's just go to cross quickly. Oh, damn it! Ah, fine then. Oh, here's the enemy. Here I go. <laughs> what was that? Go. Here I go. <laughs> oh, the voice acting is so silly. We have a full score with this. This is really strange. Story arc. <laughs> but okay. The demon. Uh, the um. The dragon boy or something. Ah, oh, this way, isn't it? What do you sell? Tool shop. Welcome, none of the items available or unavailable. Aha! Oh, they're so expensive. Ah, uh, I keep trying to buy stuff this way in Final Fantasy thirteen in um in Lightning Returns. But you can't buy it this way. I mean you can buy items but but not in, in a way where you you know, you settle the accounts or whatever. And it's sad. I can only afford four of these. That's terrible. They're so expensive then again we have so much the the, the currency is quite different here. Um, let's get two. Sure. Thank you for stopping by. Please coming in. I won't because it's expensive, but I will if I need more of those things, I guess. Um, yes. Okay, so let's go to Mars, I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, nobody cared about the sorcery globe. Because there were too many side quests to be done. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah. I think I am. There's a cave. There's the enemy. There's oh. the enemy. Here I go. Maybe I should get rid of Ray. It just takes so much time. It's, over. it's like, yes, yes, you killed it. Well done. Bum ba dum ba da 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 There's the enemy. We can win this. You're too easy. I keep forgetting that like I used to cut out the battles and stuff, so I just keep talking through the battles by accident. Is this Mars? Oh this is Hurley, isn't it? Oh no, this is Mars. I think Hurley is where we were before. What am I doing? Oh, to the elders' places. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I haven't even been in here yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got some sour syrup. And some pill. Oh, what are these things? Let's have a look. Sour syrup. This mysterious medicine restores 30% of one's MP. Hm. I like how it's in like a honey pot. A necklace. This is a necklace? <laughs> a necklace that possesses a mysterious magical power to divert the enemy's attention from its wearer during escape from combat. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> These things could have been quite useful. Silence card. Why didn't I get these earlier? <laughs> Dumb. <clears throat> Magical card that possesses a mysterious power to silence one enemy. It reminds me of card captors. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Good. Man, I'm hungry. I need to do some dishes. But I don't want to. Right now, the heads of all the villages and towns are running around trying to take in all of the refugees from Click. Awesome. 
Could you give me some books? No? Please? Wait. Wait. Maybe I have to just look by myself. Aha! Oh! Heraldry Arts System 1. Heraldry Arts System 1. Heraldry Arts have attributes that come in pairs, and the paired attributes offset each other. In addition, attack spells cast by allies will induce fusion the instant that they touch each other, resulting in much greater energy which attacks the enemy. Uh, okay. That's good to know, I guess. Hero Dryart System 2! In the case of spells that offset each other, for example if a friend and enemy cast water and fire spells, respectively, then they will cancel each other out if they are of the same power. Huh. If one is stronger, then it will push through and head toward the enemy. That's actually really cool, because that's sort of... I mean... I can't really say, like, that's what actually happens, because, you know, but, um, like, in in like cartoons and stuff like that actually it's nice I I I I like that I like that I already looked at these anything about can I climb this oh I can oh here we go oh no maybe not oh the book of exorcism <laughs> that sounds helpful let's look at these first origins of the heraldry arts the origins of the heraldry arts are not known with certainty. However, the methods of tattooing crests onto the human body in order to draw out its latent powers have been steadily handed down from several hundred years in the past to the present. Okay. Oh yeah, because she wears a crest in her hair. Hmm. Folk tales of Mars. Once upon a time, a man came down from heaven and tattooed strange letters onto people's palms. <laughs> That's not very nice. Jeez. The people with the letters were able to use strange powers. The crests are the words of the gods who fell from heaven. Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of a Doctor Who episode. A book of exorcism. The book of exorcism. One who is possessed by a thing of a different form must peruse this book. <laughs> okay. Here it is. This is it. Uh, only he can read it, apparently. Let me read it. No, you're not the... the... Thee the must take care in choosing, depending on the kind of possessing demon. Thee the must take care in choosing, depending on the kind of possessing demon. Okay. <laughs> For me, a dragon. A dragon! He who is possessed by a demon dragon must use the holy silver goblet to catch the tears of the king dancing in the sky. <laughs> so, rain? <laughs> Snow? Sleet? Hail? So where is the silver goblet for catching the tears? The, the silver goblet reposes within the mother's body embraced by the surface of the calm waters. <laughs> Barely this book is written in riddles. Yay. The surface of the calm waters. Could that be the sea? Or perhaps a lake? <laughs> if it's a lake, then it must be Lake Cole in the northwest of the continent of Cross. Is that the, where, where the trail leads? Oh no, wait, isn't it up on... Up... Up the thing. The... The other trail. <laughs> I know what I mean. But... But I don't understand the reference to the mother's body. I wonder if that would be the mountain palace. It is near Lake Col... Was she stopped? Or is that the whole name? Cole? He who holds the tears of the king must stand on the steep summit and proudly challenge him to a fight. Oh, jeez. That sounds like a difficult side quest. D doesn't that refer to a bird or something that lives on a mountain peak? Okay, so it's, it is it is that thing. Okay, so you probably have to go to the other. So, 
to the mountain trail with the lake thing, and then probably to that other mountain trail where I died last time. I no wonder the enemies there were so difficult. Okay. Is that what's up there? I see. Well, to the west of Cross are the Las Gus Mountains where the demon bird is said to live. That's convenient. When the... When the art victorious over the king of the sky, you shall catch the tears. And what then? And what then? Return thee to the place where the demon dragon was born, and take the silver goblet to pour the tears of the king into thy mouth, and chant the words that we have inscribed in this book. Oh, what with the heart? And that will set me free! <laughs> Did he just fall in love with Eric? Because I don't think I can deal with that right now. With the savage howl of torment, the demon dragon shall disappear from this world. Aww, savage howl of torment. Poor, poor dragon. I don't want to hurt the dragons. Oh, is everybody talking at the same time? <laughs> everybody is deep in thought. Oh, so Gyoro and Ururun will die? Need we go that far? Yeah. But don't you care about what will happen to me? <laughs> no, Andy. Nobody cares. It's not that, but... I... I think that is just too cruel. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you guys just take the side of the cute ones. Oh, shut up. Eric. <laughs> They're heartbroken. Yeah. The little buggers are trying the old tactic of persuasion by tears. Persuasion by tears. Well, it can't be helped at such a time. Shut up, Eric. Oh. That was scary. Ah! Don't look at me like that. No. We will find a way of exercising them. I will definitely go through with it. Super dandy. Well then, let's uh, let's first head toward the mountain palace to get the silver goblet. Without it, we cannot catch the tears. I keep changing Eric's voice. Whatever. Andy. No, never mind. Oh, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? Come on, say it. I'm okay. Oh yeah, I hate it when people do that. I can't imagine Andy without Gyoro and Ururu. <laughs> You've only met him for like five seconds. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Oh, come on. Why is everyone acting like that? Don't you feel sorry for me? <laughs> No. No, we don't. <laughs> That's hilarious. The mountain palace is in the northwest of the continent of Cross. Indeed. But we have to go to the lake first, right? Is that a dragon on the wall? Um, okay. You want to help me? Nope. Alrighty, alrighty. I don't know if I should go try to do that first, or if I, if I should just like do it some other time. <laughs> I don't want the dragons to die. <laughs> I'm with knocked on this one. I'm I'm with knocked always. <laughs> really, let's admit it. Oh, I don't know what should I do. Oh, actually, what I will do is I'll stop here because I've been recording for half an hour, and it's probably a good place to stop. And I will save, because I need to save. And I shall see you next time on Let's Play Star Ocean Blind, and... I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> see, Eric is sleeping. Um, and, uh, maybe we'll go there. I might go try that, and see what happens, and then, uh, and then continue with the storyline, probably. Or die. Or both. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.